Teresa. what I'm thinking. See that ride back there? I say we get on that ride. What? No, uh, why? No. No, we should get on that ride. Look. There's a gentleman smoking, operating it. You can win a Luigi. Everybody loves Luigi. Hi, it's -a me, Luigi. I'm second best. That's it. That's it. No more the Greek festival. Somebody just finished a bottle like that? They just <laughs> finished it and just dropped the bottle? Were they drinking it in their car, I wonder? So we went to the Staten Island Greek festival. We usually go for a bit. There's usually like this really dusty flea market that we like to peruse. They killed the flea market. Yaya has gone the way of the dinosaurs, has been extinct. No more Yaya's added. I think it was basement. Whatever it was, it's not there anymore. It was a real dusty flea market. We liked to peruse the things that we would never buy because, like I said, everything was real dusty. Very excited about the moon. Look how intently she looks at the moon. Can you get the moon? I got the moon. She got the moon. Apparently it's a big deal if there's a full moon on Friday the 13th. So you see that first tree right there? Across the street? That first the tree. First one? Yes. The short one? Uh-huh. That's where the raccoon was chilling. All right, so she saw a raccoon the other day in the morning. And they say... Like 7.30. 7.30 in the morning. So it was, was it dark? No. It wasn't dark. So... You know, they say when you see a raccoon out in the daylight, it's not good because they're sick or have rabies or scabies or something, right? Yeah. Anyway, we're going to go home. And then uh, the weekend's here. Yay for weekend stuff. I think we're going to put up some blinds or shades. I thought what? you were saying put up the Christmas tree. Yeah, let's put up the Christmas tree. <laughs> and we're going to put up the Christmas tree. Might as well. Actually, let's take out the Halloween decorations. So we can decorate for Halloween. Oh, look, that's a good veil. She's obsessed with the moon. Like, she's never seen it before. day is upon us and today we're going to a festival we haven't been to a festival since last night it's a weekend of festivals tomorrow we're gonna start our own festival and it's only to be themed about other festivals Wesley Folk Festival. I hope you enjoyed all the sights and sounds. Did you have a good time? Yeah. Sure. Yep. I did too.
everybody come out to the yearly Westerly Folk Festival where you can listen to folk music or and then folk dance and then buy folk art a lot of folks there <laughs> Uh, but seriously, folks. This was grilled chicken, roasted peppers, fresh super sat, fresh moots on a roll. It's not a roll, it's just a cut up piece of Italian bread. I asked for a roll. This is clearly not a roll. All right. Try, uh, cheers. Come on. Cheers. And of all the lettuces, the leafy greens, besides kale, I don't eat kale because that's like trash lettuce. I know arugula from a mile away. I like that their tomatoes are really thin. Because yeah, you don't like tomatoes. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna talk about movies today. Yes, I like movies, you like movies, that's why you're here. And that's why I'm gonna tell you about the movies that I picked up recently. Two of them, two of them. One that I've seen, the other one I haven't seen. So the first film I wanna talk about, the first film I picked up was Jimmy Cliff's The Harder They Come. Now this film was filmed in Jamaica and it stars reggae legend Jimmy Cliff as a character named Ivan Martin. Basically, the movie is about him trying to rise in the ranks of being a reggae star in Jamaica and dealing with the politics and and the gangsters that are in the movie business and dealing with the police and crime. This movie is great. It is a lot of fun. Um, what I like about this movie also is it has clips from my favorite Western of all time, Django. Originally, the DVD was released by the Criterion Collection, but the upgrade came from Shout Select. At least it was in good hands. It's got some pretty good features in here. It's got three discs, which is awesome. So this version of the movie, although we can't get Criterion, at least it got the respect it deserves. It has a great soundtrack. The movie is really good. I can't wait to watch this because the DVD that Criterion released doesn't have a great transfer, so I'm super excited to see what this looks like with a brand new restoration. Jimmy Cliff's The Harder They Come by Shout Select. You should definitely pick this up if you're into good movies. So the second film I picked up uh, is from a director that I have not seen any of his films. I haven't seen this one yet, but I first heard about the movie through John Waters. Um, John Waters didn't tell me to watch this movie. That would be crazy. It would be great. John Waters, if you see this video... Let me know, man. Let me know if you're watching these videos. Anyway, he introduced it at a film festival. He was talking about this film, so I definitely wanted to check it out. Now, the film I'm talking about is Derek Jarman's Blue. Now, this movie is 75 minutes of a blue screen. It's just the color blue for 75 minutes. So what is this movie about? So, unfortunately, Derek Jarman passed away from AIDS. Um... And this movie is, like I said, a blue screen, basically narrating his life, his struggles with AIDS. This is um, going to be a heavy one, to say the least. Um, I haven't heard anything about this movie other than I should definitely see it. And when I see it, I got to be in a good place to watch it because it's probably going to be extremely sad. Um, so this film is uh, the only other name that I know in this movie besides the director is Tilda Swinton. Um, uh, obviously, she it's just her voice because, like I said, it's 75 minutes of just a blue screen. Um, but it's about his life, uh, his struggles with AIDS, his he's going blind. It, it's about his life and his life's coming to an end. And I'm just 
thinking about this movie and how heavy it already is just reading the synopsis of this film and and what I am going to take from this, right? So, um, like I said, I got to be in a good place when I'm watching this movie because I know it's just going to be heavy. Um, there's actually a, um, a quote from John Waters in the back. It says, a beautiful radical way to deal with dying from AIDS. Anyway, I'm super interested in checking this film out. Like I said, I got to be in a good place right now. Uh, mentally, I probably would not do well with this movie. But uh, sometime soon, I'm definitely going to check this out. Um, it's relatively cheap. It's like $16 on Amazon. Uh, Kino Lorber and Zeitgeist Films released this. Blue, directed by Derek Jarman. You should check it out if you really, really want to see a movie that's going to get you right. I mean, sometimes, I mean, truthfully, don't you sometimes want to watch a movie that's going to make you sad? Um, sometimes you watch movies that make you sad just to, to try to get the emotions out. Some people actually have issues unlocking their emotions. So you got to watch a little sad movie to really get it flowing. I don't have that problem. Uh, I don't have a problem letting my emotions go. So this film is only going to make it worse. Um, anyway, it's a complete contrast of films. Uh, this movie, which is probably going to be pretty sad and hopefully, um, hopefully a little funny too, you know. And then Jimmy Cliff's The Harder They Come, great movie. This movie is a lot of fun. And uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Pick them up. Shout Select, Kino Lorber, Blue, the harder they come. And please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit that little bell icon so you get notifications on these videos. I plan on doing a lot more sometime soon. Sorry for the delay of videos. Life gets in the way, man. Anyway, thanks again. I'll see you guys next time.